Hello students. Welcome to the YouTube channel, Physics Simplified. In this video, we will learn, how to calculate, the distance of closest approach, or, the shortest distance between two moving bodies. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the discussion. Suppose, two bodies are moving with constant velocities, in any directions. In order to determine, the distance of closest approach, or, the shortest distance between them, we usually apply the method of calculus. However, we can apply the concept of relative velocity, to calculate the same effectively. We will discuss both methods one by one, in this video. In our first method, we will apply the technique of calculus. Let us divide this method, in three simple steps, to understand the logic behind this. In step 1, we will calculate the distance, denoted by, say r, between the two moving bodies, at any instant of time t, by using the given information. In step 2, we will minimize r, to calculate its minimum value. For this, we will use the concept of, maxima minima. Since, the separation between the two moving bodies, depend on time t, hence, for, r, to be a minimum, the first order derivative of r, with respect to time t, must be equal to 0. Therefore, dr by dt, is equal to, 0. After performing the corresponding mathematical steps, we will find the time at which, the separation r, attains the minimum value. In our third and final step, we will substitute this value of t, in the expression of separation between the moving bodies, to find its minimum value, given by, r suffix mean. Now, the second method, that is, the relative velocity method. Again, we will divide this method, in three simple steps, to understand the logic behind this. Suppose, two bodies, a and b, be moving with velocities, vector v suffix a, and, vector v suffix b, respectively. In step 1, we will calculate the velocity of one of them, relative to the other. Let, we calculate the velocity of b, relative to a, denoted by, vector v suffix b a. Remember, you can also calculate, the velocity of a, relative to b, that is, vector v suffix a b. It must be noted that, vector v suffix b a means, velocity of b, as seen by an observer, situated on a, when the observer considers himself, and a, to be at rest. Similarly, for vector v suffix a b, it will be the velocity of a, as seen by an observer situated on b, when the observer considers himself, and b, to be at rest. In step 2, we will find either the direction of, vector v suffix b a, or, vector v suffix a b, and will draw a line along that direction. In our third and final step, for the relative velocity, vector v suffix b a, we will drop a perpendicular from a, on the line along which this relative velocity is directed. We know that, the minimum distance between a fixed point, and any point on a line, is the perpendicular distance of the fixed point from the line. Since a, is considered to be at rest, for the relative velocity, vector v suffix b a, hence, this perpendicular distance will be, the distance of closest approach, or, the minimum separation between the two moving bodies, a and b. Remember that, for vector v suffix a b, the perpendicular distance will be from b, to the line along which, this relative velocity is directed. We will now illustrate the whole idea, through an example. According to the problem, two cars, A and B, are moving with same constant speed of, 20 km per hour, towards south and east, respectively. At any instant, car B, is due south of car A, and their separation is 10 km. We need to find, the shortest distance between the two cars, as well as, the time after which, they are closest to each other. We will apply both methods, that we have just discussed, to solve this problem. Before proceeding further, let us consider the following illustration. Let
Let us now solve the problem. First, we will use the method of calculus. We consider the velocities of cars, A and B as, vector V suffix A, and, vector V suffix B, respectively. By problem, the magnitude of both, V suffix A, and, V suffix B, is 20 km per hour. Consider the figure. This is the situation, of the two moving cars at any instant, according to the problem. We will consider the new positions, of car A, and car B, after time t. Since, the car A, moves towards south, its new position after time t, is denoted by the point P, as shown in the figure. The distance covered by car A, in time t, given by AP, is equal to, V suffix A, into t. Again, since the car B, moves towards east, its new position after same time t, denoted by the point Q, is shown in the figure. The distance covered by B, in time t, given by BQ, is equal to, V suffix B, into t. Let, at this instant of time, their separation be R, given by the straight line PQ. Now, we write the available information, to us. AP, is equal to, V suffix A, into t. BQ, is equal to, V suffix B, into t. And, the initial separation between the cars, denoted by Y, is equal to, 10 kilometers. Therefore, BP, is equal to, Y minus V suffix A, into T. Now, according to the figure, BPQ is a right angle triangle. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we get, PQ squared, is equal to, BP squared, plus, BQ squared. Substituting the expression of each term, we obtain, R squared, is equal to, Y minus, V suffix A into T, whole squared, plus, V suffix B into T, whole squared. We mark this equation, as number 1. Now, differentiating both sides of the equation, with respect to time T, we get, 2R, dr by dt, is equal to, 2 into, within first bracket, Y minus, V suffix A into T, times, minus V suffix A, plus, 2V suffix B squared, into T. From the concept of maximum minima, we can write, for the separation, R, to be a minimum, dr by dt, is equal to 0. So, from the above equation we get, minus y into v suffix a, plus, v suffix a squared, into t, plus, v suffix b squared into t, is equal to 0. Simplifying, we get, t is equal to, y into v suffix a, divided by, within first bracket, v suffix a squared, plus, v suffix b squared. Substituting the given values, and doing calculations, we get, t, is equal to, 1 by 4 hours, that is, 15 minutes. So, after 15 minutes, the two cars, a and b, will be closest to each other. Now, substituting the values of t, and all other terms, in equation 1, and simplifying, we get the minimum separation of A and B. It is given by R suffix mean is equal to 5 root 2 kilometers. This is the shortest distance between the two cars A and B. Now, we will solve the same problem again, but using the concept of relative motion. Here, we will calculate the velocity of B relative to A. So, the observer will be inside the car A. Hence, the reference frame of the observer, will be attached with car A, and he will analyze the motion of car B. So, to the observer, car A, will be at rest, and, car B will move with velocity, vector V suffix B A. In order to calculate, velocity of B, relative to A, we consider, the positive X axis along the east, and, positive y axis along the north. Therefore, the velocity of car A, and that of car B, are given by, vector v suffix A, is equal to, minus 20 j hat, kilometers per hour, and, vector v suffix B, is equal to, 20 i hat, kilometers per hour. The negative sign indicates that, velocity of car A, is directed towards the negative y axis. 
The corresponding velocity vector triangle is shown in the figure. From this triangle, using the triangle law of vectors we can write vector v suffix b is equal to vector v suffix b a plus vector v suffix a. Therefore, velocity of car b relative to car a is given by vector v suffix b a is equal to vector v suffix b minus vector v suffix a. Substituting the corresponding expressions, we get from the equation vector v suffix b a is equal to 20 i hat plus 20 j hat kilometers per hour. Let us now calculate the magnitude of velocity of car b relative to car a. From the velocity vector triangle, the magnitude of velocity of car b relative to car a is given by v suffix b a is equal to under square root v suffix a squared plus v suffix b squared. Substituting the values we get from the equation v suffix b a is equal to 20 root 2 kilometers per hour. Let us now determine the direction of vector v suffix b a. As per the velocity vector triangle, vector v suffix b a makes an angle theta with the east, that is, with x axis. Therefore, tan theta is equal to v suffix a divided by v suffix b. Substituting the values, we get the angle as theta is equal to tan inverse of 1, which is equal to 45 degrees. Let us now try to find how will the observer sitting in car A observe the motion of car B. In terms of vector notation, to the observer, car A will be at rest, while car B will appear to move with relative velocity given by vector v suffix b a along the line b q. Vector v suffix b a is equal to 20 i hat plus 20 j hat kilometers per hour. In terms of magnitude and angle, to the observer sitting in car a, car b will appear to move with relative velocity of magnitude 20 root 2 kilometers per hour at an angle of 45 degrees with the east, that is, with the x axis. This direction is basically northeast. Now, on the line of relative motion of car B, the observer will find a point, say P, where the separation between the two cars will become perpendicular to the line. At this instant, the separation between the two cars will be minimum. This is because the minimum distance between a fixed point and any point on a line is the perpendicular distance of the fixed point from the line. According to the figure, this minimum separation is AP and is represented by S suffix min. We need to find the magnitude of AP from the right angle triangle ABP. We know that sine of the base angle of a right angle triangle is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. Therefore, from the right angle triangle ABP, sine of angle ABP is equal to AP divided by AB. Substituting the corresponding values and simplifying the equation, we get s suffix min is equal to 10 divided by root 2. Therefore, s suffix min is equal to 5 root 2 kilometers. This is the shortest distance between the two moving cars A and B. Now, we will calculate the time after which the two cars will be closest to each other. It can be obtained from the equation t is equal to bp divided by v suffix ba. We mark this equation as number 2. Now, for the right angle triangle, abp, bp is the base. Therefore, cos of angle abp is equal to bp divided by ab. Substituting the corresponding values and simplifying we get bp is equal to 5 root 2 kilometers. Substituting the value of BP and V suffix BA in equation 2, we obtain after simplification, T is equal to 15 minutes.